can set you free for whom the Son sets free is free indeed John 8 36 and Lord I thank you you are still Yeshua you're still Jesus you call his name Jesus and he'll save his people from their sin Matthew 1 21 I thank you Lord sin is a chain that no politician can deliver a people or a nation from sins the problem but Lord I thank you the problem solver the solution is none other than a savior and there isn't but one you said in Isaiah 45 22 look unto me be ye saved for I'm God and there's none else you said in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven forgive their sin and heal their land there's only one that can heal the land it ain't no prominent personality that's a politician famous Lord there ain't but one that can straighten America out again as we approach her 247th birthday on July the 4th since 1776 to 2023 July the 4th she's 247 years of age but Lord I thank you there's only one that can rebirth this nation that was born 247 years ago she needs a rebirth and Lord it's only you Jesus oh hallelujah glory to God you declared in your word blessed is the Lord. Amen. Blessed are the people who, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his inheritance. Psalms 33 and 12. Lord blessed is the nation. How can we say God bless America until America knows God is Lord again. It's Lord bless America. Somebody shout with me Lord bless America. They ain't but one Lord in the old covenant and new. His name is is Jesus. We preach peace by Jesus Christ. He's Lord of all. Acts 10 36. There's only one Lord. His name is Jesus. Buddha's not the God of this nation. Oh no it's not. Lord no name of any false deity. There's only one God of this nation. It's the Lord according to Psalms 33 and 12. He's the one that blessed it. Hallelujah and Jesus. It is none other than you because you're the Lord. Lord God Almighty, you're the Lord Jesus, you're the Lord that was crucified, the Lord that was buried, and the Lord that raised himself from the dead, the Lord that's soon to come back again. Oh, you could come back before July the 4th. Oh, well, it'd be all right with me, King Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Even so, come. You are the Lord, and we give you praise today as we worship and praise you and welcome you. Thank you for your blood that gives us this access that's free oh yes yeah. somebody say at the top of the freedom list at the top of the liberty list that we celebrate today should be the freedom without strengths from any government or political party to come into the house of God and worship him this nation was founded on that very principle hallelujah we want a place a nation where we can worship God freely without any restraint from the government. All right, come on, or any dictatorship. Anybody hear the Holy Spirit? Every other freedom we enjoy in this nation is founded on that one. That one right there. When you search his story, I'm not just talking about America's history. When you search his, I'm talking about Jesus' his story in history all the way back to 1776. This is the reason at the top of the liberty reason list they wanted freedom. is so they could worship him who's divine, the true God, the God and author of this book. Um, a man whose book he says I am his name. Somebody say Jesus. His name is called the word of God. Hallelujah. Revelation 19 and 13. Praise God and Lord as we come into your house on the Lord's day. Lord, this ain't 4th of July weekend. Uh-uh. I guess that'll have to be next weekend really. Because today's the first day of the week. I can't help 4th of July happens to be on a Tuesday. Some ought to say welcome to the first day of the week. This is not the weekend. This is the week begin. 
Come on. And we're in here two days before a nation remembers her birth 247 years ago. Come on, somebody. Why are we here on the first day of the week? Why? Because this is the freedom, amen, that connects all other freedoms. Friend, there's an enemy. There's an antichrist spirit. There is a political witchcraft, amen, at work in our nation in highest places. Even that old biblical witch whore called Jezebel, that foul demon. Come on, anybody hear the Holy Spirit and it wants to take away your rights, your freedoms, your liberties that men and women have died for both on homeland and foreign land so you could have the right but at the top of the freedom list is the one we express right now. Come on somebody that's supported in the first amendment of our constitution of these United States the freedom of assembly and even the word assembly or assemble in the first amen amendment there in the constitution amen glory to God when you search it out that word assembly, amen, is translated into our English language. It literally means church. Somebody say welcome to the freedom of church. Oh, glory to God, we got a freedom to be able to come in. There's people in third world countries right now underground are secretly meeting. They only have pieces of pages from the Bible and they read it by candlelight or in the dark with a small light and knowing if they get caught corporately gathering together they could lose their life, they could lose their livelihood, their families whatever. Amen. If they get caught doing it. But in America, it is the most neglected freedom of our time and day even among those that confess they know him. Anybody hear the Holy Spirit? Oh, Jesus had to lay his life down. Ephesians 5.25 to do what? To create his church. To birth his church, his bride. Somebody shout the church. The cost for the church was the blood of the lamb on the cross. To neglect his church is the same as to neglect his cross. Anybody hear the Holy Spirit? The cost for the church to be birthed and to be enjoyed and to be embraced. This liberty that we have, amen, in America to be able to come into his house. The most essential place you'll ever enter. The most essential time you'll ever experience is in the place where his people come that were redeemed through the blood of his cross because the church, amen, was birthed at Calvary. Anybody hear the Holy Spirit? Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. This is how, amen, Jesus birthed his own. Read it in Ephesians 5, 25. Christ laid his life down for the church. Amen. Praise God. We ought to be able to lay our life down on the first day of the week and enter into the house of the assembly, the assembling, the church. Some ought to say at the top of the liberty list, that is the greatest freedom we have, but it's the most neglected one we have in this nation called America. I've been in other countries before and I've preached and I've watched people, amen, glory to God, pack services out with no air conditioner, amen, with no running water, with no indoor or outdoor plumbing, just a hole cut in the ground with some sticks around it. Come on, somebody. Amen. And they'll stay there for hours, and they'll be there hours, and they'll travel distances on foot. Come on, somebody, with donkey or whatever. Amen. Just to get there to hear this book and to be able to assemble together. There's people assembling together. I remember. I remember. Amen. I'm, I won't forget. I do remember. Amen. Years ago, a, a young evangelist from Pakistan, he texts me on social media. Amen. And he'd been watching our stuff and God was touching him and, and, and he said I'm going out today to preach in a, in a certain area and, and, and he said please be praying for me pastor he said because it is so dangerous for me to preach the gospel in that region he said but it's worth it if I get to reach one he said I'm not really sure if I'll make it back home but I'm going what happened I don't know I've never heard from him ever again but I know he went come on it, it's possible he may have never made it back he became a martyr I don't know. I, hey man, I'm not concerned about it because I, I know where he's at. I'll get to meet him in heaven one day. Hey man, but that's the kind of sacrifice and the people that hazard their lives. The Bible said that in the word of God. Hey man, that these men hazarded their lives. Hey man, to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. That's in Acts 15 and 26. I'm about to say welcome to the disciples of hazard. You thought I was going to say the dukes. No, they hazard their lives. They put their life in jeopardy. Come on, 
somebody so somebody else could hear the gospel. Now we got folks nowadays talking about, well, it's too far to travel to church. It's too many miles. The preacher gonna preach too long. Well, Lord, you know I gotta get up early and go to work. Their job's more important than Jesus is to them. Oh, and they call themselves part of the body of Christ. They might be a part of his body, but they have not experienced disciplehood, discipleship. Because when you become a dedicated disciple, amen, it'll take a lot more than what's causing some folks, amen, to miss, amen, the greatest. Praise God. Honor we have on this people planet called earth and one of the greatest rights and freedoms and liberties at the top of the liberty list to enter into the house of God. Somebody shout, it cost Jesus his blood, amen, to make a place called the church. It cost him his life. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate him as we celebrate the birth of our nation. Oh, 247 years ago. Amen. In two days, July the 4th, uh, since 1776 to 2023. But I'm telling you, there's an ancient of days. Uh, amen. His uh, years, uh, he has none. Come on, somebody. And he's the same throughout them all. Uh, Psalms 102, 27. He's Alpha. He's Omega. He's beginning and end. He's first and last. Uh, Revelation 22, 13. Uh, somebody shout from everlasting to everlasting. He's God. Psalms 90 verse 1. I ain't talking to you. I ain't preaching to you about a 247 year old God. Amen. I'm talking and preaching to you. Amen. About a God who has no age. Who has no beginning. Who has no ending. He's eternal from everlasting to everlasting. The same one that in 2 Timothy 3 said one day to me is like a thousand years. A thousand years. Just one day. Come on somebody. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So if the earth, amen, biblically, biblical scholars, we believe we're somewhere near the 7,000th year, amen, not like the New Agers and those that believe you come from some splatter matter and a monkey somewhere. They call it millions of years. Really, when you look at it biblically, it's somewhere in the 7,000th, amen, which is the number of God's completion, fulfillment, amen. We're somewhere near that, amen. Think about it. It's only been six days to God <laughs> since he created this earth. Six days. What did he do on the seventh? He rested. Oh, he's coming again, and what a rest it's going to be. We're getting close. Oh, yes, we are. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? I feel him in this place this morning. Amen. Can't promise you a lot, but right there it is on the banner in, the first, in that scripture, Acts 28, 31. Somebody say preaching. Amen. I can't promise you more than that today, but glory to God, I promise you, you will be preached the word of the living God. Hallelujah. Look at somebody beside you and say, if you hadn't heard God yet. Uh, we pray your ears get unstopped because God's talking. Amen. Praise God. Welcome to God's house today at Acts 29 Church under God on this Lord's Day. Let's get in the spirit. Look at somebody beside you this morning and tell them, say, whether you believe it or not, you're blessed. If the groundhogs ain't bringing you your mail, you blessed. Somebody will figure that out about three o'clock today. Say, Oops, yes, go around and tell somebody. I'm greatly blessed and tell them, say, I'm highly favored of God. Tell them, say, if you're breathing and above ground, you've been blessed by God. So you better do something with the blessing. You better give it back to him. Give your life to him and follow him and bless him back. Mm -hmm. Greatly blessed. I'm greatly blessed. Highly favored. Imperfect. Forgiven child of God, I'm greatly blessed. I leave favor, imperfect but forgiven child of God, standing up right on God's good earth. Since great things he has done I'm fighting the good fight With the blessed assurance That the battle is already won Yeah, I'm greatly blessed And I leave faith Child of God, I'm greatly blessed and highly favored, imperfect but forgiven child of God. Sing it out with me this morning. I'm 
bless I leave favor Imperfect but forgiven Child of God child of God through faith in Jesus I'm a child of God we're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ Galatians 3 26 we're only a creation of God until we put our faith in Jesus then we become a child of God